What's going on in here? Oh, what I am this here. What's going on? What oh, the shit. heck? Oh, okay. yeah. Uh oh. All right, guys. <laughs> guys. What's up? What oh, I on this? Guys, this is really bad. This is really bad. Uh oh. At least Jerry Springer had Steve Balco. You know, I know it's bad to dump on a man while he's down, but these clowns, they deserve it. You know, I, I, I caught a few episodes of the Fresh and Fit podcast a while back, you know, from time to time, they'd have some interesting train wreck TV type of content. And, you know, it was a little bit entertaining slightly, but I could never buy these guys as alpha males, high value males. They yell too, well, especially that one guy, Mark, he yells too much. You know, their show is essentially Jerry Springer without the white trash, it's just Miami sheep trash. I mean, Growing up in New York City and living in South Florida now, one of the very first observations I made years ago when I moved to South Florida was how incredibly pretentious everything was. It was all about the clout and, you know, faking it. I mean, these guys are fake it till you make it type of guys. And, and they didn't even make it for long and they, they fell apart. You know, these people... I don't know what possess a young man to want to emulate them. I guess I do know it's a different culture, you know, it's a different time. So things are different now. If you grew up in the social media era, you know, your, your ethical code is different. I get it. But how can you not see that these were not alpha dogs, you know? When you make fun of women for a living, and that is the premise of your program, you select the type of women that you know you're going to easily be able to rile up, and they kick him out like Pam, you know, Martin used to kick Pam out, or, or Uncle Phil used to kick out Jazzy Jeff. This is what these guys were doing. It was, a, it, was, it was a nice little shtick, but I'm glad that everyone is seeing through it now because I remember a couple weeks ago, I forget the, the episode I saw, but I was like, this man is too emotional to be an alpha male. Look, if you're an alpha male, you don't walk around telling people you're an alpha male, number one, you don't go around telling people that I'm a rare, valuable 1% man and this and that, you just are. If you're the richest guy in the room, you don't have to announce when you walk in the room, everybody already knows. If you're the most dominant person, everybody already knows. These people, give me a break. I mean, come on. I hope, I hope there's some, you know, I hate to wish legal proceedings on anyone, but these guys deserve it. I mean, they're, these guys are walking me too. These guys are, you know, Harvey Weinstein is somewhere in the cell looking like, they got me for less. Anyway, I hope for all the people who've been following these jerks, please, end that nonsense, you know, end this, you know, I'm red pill, I'm alpha crap. Look, if you're a good person and you do the right thing, you focus on your success in life, no matter how long it takes, it's going to get there. Don't chase clout. Don't do things to be like these clowns, because obviously you see where it got them.